One of the notable features of religion, and one of the things that makes it a topic of interest in the humanities, is its involvement with all forms of artistic expression. Religious people have been among the most prolific creators of art of every kind, as well as the supporters and consumers of art as they integrate art into their religious, ritual, and sacred space. Many religions themselves have distinct aesthetics, recognizable to outside observers and meaningful to insiders, based on design principles drawn from the religious world. We can see the difference between Tibetan and Zen Buddhism, for instance, or between Baroque Catholicism and Quaker Christianity, between Hinduism with its many gods and Islam with its aniconic monotheism. Specific understandings of religious truth may cause some arts to flourish while others languish. We're repeatedly told, for instance, that Islamic art is non-representational. Although cultural studies reminds us that the religions are not uniform and different parts of the Muslim world do things differently. When it comes to religious art, we shouldn't forget about kitsch, which is usually thought of as popular accessible, often sentimental art that's frequently beloved by religious people themselves. Art, like religion, uses symbols, things that stand for other things, making those things convey meaning. Religious art takes the symbols that define the religious world and that stand for abstract ideas like incarnation or salvation or enlightenment and makes them clear and concrete, part of the real, physical, tangible world. If religious people have a clear sense of beatitude and its opposite, if Christians have clear mental pictures of heaven and hell, if Taoists have the idea of the immortals and the hungry ghosts, if Jews can visualize God's liberation as the ultimate beatitude, it's probably due to religious art. <laughs>